You have been unwise, Saul. What was I supposed to do? The men would not go into battle unless a sacrifice was offered. So you chose to offer it yourself? The soldiers were frightened. I had to do something. Offering sacrifice is a sacred duty, Saul. You may be king, but even you must obey the Lord's command. a new commandment for you, a difficult one. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the sins of the Amalekites are great, and they are preparing to destroy Israel. Therefore, go down and slay every living thing among them, even their animals, every living thing. I'll do it. Do exactly as the Lord commands. I said I would. You're still awake? Get some sleep. Father, I hope we haven't brought the Lord's anger upon us. Samuel said to kill every living thing, every animal. For the last time, Jonathan. These animals are to be offered as a sacrifice. The Lord will be pleased. Samuel the prophet, he's coming. The Amalekites are dead. I did everything you asked. What? Oh, they're to be offered as a sacrifice. Oh, Saul, why didn't you obey the Lord's instructions? Does nothing please you? They are to be offered as a sacrifice. Obedience is greater than sacrifice. So? This is the thanks I receive. I have just put an end to Israel's greatest enemy. I! There was a time, Saul, when you were little in your own sight. But you have put your will above God's. You have rejected his word, and now he will reject you. Very well. I have sinned. I was wrong. Now let's be done with it. Saul. You are no longer God's anointed king. Just as you have torn this garment from me, so your kingdom will be torn from you, and it will be given to another who is more worthy. And finally, dear God, we pray for thy blessing on this food which we are about to eat. Amen. Uh, out of my way. Where's the bread? I'll take more of that. More meat. Mm. Don't take the last one. I want that. No, no, no. Pass that to me. Don't pass that to me. I'll have the food. Give me the food. I'll take the food. More food. <coughs> <coughs> It took me all afternoon to make this food. You could at least act like you're tasting it. Sorry, Mother. No one's here. Why can't we eat like we always do? Well, what if someone did come to visit? Uh, like who, my dear? I don't know. 
What if the prophet came to visit? <laughs> See, I'm afraid I have to agree with the boys on this one, my dear. It's Samuel the prophet. Thank you. Here she comes. Look out. out. Fig, it, the finest in Bethlehem, I assure you. Uh, no, thank you. I'm anxious to fulfill the Lord's command. Then the Lord has sent you here? Yes. I have come to meet your sons. The Lord has a great need for one of them. I see. I see. Well... Of course. He wants to meet the boys. Oh. Well, I, uh, I guess we start with the oldest first. Uh, um, which is my oldest? <laughs> I am, Father. Uh, yes, of course. Eliab, yes, okay. This is my oldest son, Samuel. I mean... Eliab. You're Samuel. <coughs> this is Eliab. I've never seen a man who looks more like a king than he does. Surely this is the one, Lord. The Lord sees differently than man, Samuel. Man sees only the outward appearance. But the Lord looks on the heart. Eliab is a good man, but not the one I've chosen. Uh, let me see the rest. These are Abinadab, Shema, Nathaniel, Radii, and Ozem. None of these do I choose either, Samuel. Huh? Huh? Are these all of your sons? There is another one, tending the sheep. He's just a boy, though. Send for him. Now, remember, Samuel, he's very young. Father, you called for me. Arise, Samuel. Anoint him. For this is he. David, son of Jesse, in the name of God, I anoint you king of Israel. King of Israel. Is Saul no longer the king then? Saul is still king, but David is the Lord's anointed. I know Saul's temper. If he finds out about this, he'll kill David. I know. I don't know how the Lord will work this out. I only know he can. We must all believe that. I say we bring all our armies together into one and attack the Israelites here. Risk the entire army in a single battle? No. If we attack with our entire army, there is no risk. You underestimate Israel's strength. We should break up into smaller units and harass them on all sides. I've found the answer to our problems. I know how to bring Israel to its knees. Gentlemen, what if we had an instrument of war which was so frightening, so powerful, our enemies would surrender at the sight of it? Enough talk. If you have such a thing, bring it to me. I'm afraid you'll have to come with me, dear king. I don't think it will fit in here. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Tomorrow, <laughs> we march to Israel. Just when things were getting back to normal, the Philistines. Don't worry. We'll finish them for good this time. Why can't I go? I'm a son of Israel. I want to fight. For the last time, David, you are too young. Goodbye, Father. Be true to your God, my sons. Bring them home, dear Lord. Don't let them die. I love each one of them. I know that if they fall, they will be with you. But please, Lord, I'm not ready to let them go. Bring them home. that ridge there. Men of Israel, are you ready for war? If you are ready to die, then we are ready for war. Good. Well spoken. We give you a challenge. Choose one of your men, your finest warrior. If he is able to kill our greatest warrior, then we will be your slaves forever. That's perfect. No one can beat you, father. However, if our man prevails, then you shall be our slaves forever. Take the challenge, father. <laughs> I am Saul, king of Israel, and I accept your challenge. <laughs> Send the challenger! Go, Father. The Lord will protect you. Come on! You brag about your living God. You say he gives you strength? Show me then! <laughs> Father? I, I can't. Listen to this for one more day. 
What am I supposed to do? Your brothers will need this food, so go directly there. Stop for nothing. Yes, father. Then hurry home and beware of strangers. Oh, don't worry, father. God will protect me. This is it, my friends. The day of judgment. Send someone. Send three or four. Give them as much armor as you want. There will be war today. One way or another. It's just a matter of who strikes first. Prepare the men for battle. David, what's going on? You haven't heard? The Philistines have a man who... Who what? Israelites! The day grows old. One of you better accept my challenge, or you'll all be killed! Who is this Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? I'll fight him. You can't fight this man. Not even Saul would do it. Where's he going? I will fight this giant. Who are you? This is my brother David, sir. He is sorry. He apologizes. I will fight this giant. That giant will cut you to pieces. He's right. Very sorry, sir. Come on, let's go. I have killed a lion with my bare hands. David, don't tell wild stories. The Lord delivered the lion into my hands and gave me the strength to kill it. The same thing will happen to this Philistine. <laughs> David, you've got that on backwards. How should I know? I've never worn a helmet before. He doesn't stand a chance. At least I convinced him to use my armor. I can't use these things. I don't even know how. You have to take something. My faith is enough. A boy? <laughs> You're sending me a boy! Cowards! Let it be known, the Israelites send their children to fight! <laughs> Today, the Lord will deliver you into my hands. Very well. I've waited 40 days to shed the blood of an Israelite. It might as well be yours. Come to me, little one. I'll kill you and feed your flesh to the birds. Father? Uh, 
this. Attack! Mm-hmm. 